on the previous season of Vizd Let's Play Star Fox 2. And we're gonna play Star Fox 2! Oh yeah! This game's freaking awesome. On, come, come on, come on, come on! Mew and Faye seem to be very offensive players, so that's why they have, you know, their glass cannon. Charge shot right in the butt of your, of your aircraft. Oh god, this is gonna be simple. Watch, three more shots. Yep, that easy. Okay, another simple... Oh god, I should have chose expert mode. This part of the game is actually the only tough part out of the normal mode. Suffer! Hey, nice mask. On expert mode. If anyone wants me to challenge, just leave a comment or send a message. Challenge accepted. Hello, folks. This is the Viz Shogun Gamer, and we are back to not a let's play, but actually we're not back at all. This is a let's replay Star Fox 2. So a let's replay is basically when you play a game that has uh, a little more to offer, usually. Or probably because you're just going to do it on a harder mode because there's still more to offer and more planets to see. Our last score was 124... Yeah, 12400 um, or 1000. We're going to try and beat that score at the same time, but I doubt I'll be able to do it because you know what? Expert mode is not a joke. Andros is back again, and he's going to kick our butts like crazy. This did not go out as planned. It did not go out anywhere as planned. And what is that thing in the middle of the... What is that? I, I don't know how that got there, um, but just ignore it for now. So I honestly don't know how that got there. I just looked into it and it's there for the whole entire video. So hopefully you can uh, accept it for what it is. That little freaking... Anyway, we're going to play as Fox and Faye, the two Fs. By the way, I can't see my audio levels, so I can't tell how loud this is. I realized this was the biggest mistake I've ever made. I should have probably went with Slippy and Toad, or Slippy or Toad, and, uh, you know, maybe Fox, because health is a serious, oh boy, in this, like, oh my god. <sighs> I, I don't know what I was getting myself into, but we have three planets to conquer to start off with. Three IBPMs, two battleships, and one little star on... No, no, actually those are just... That's not a star, my bad. So what I should have done is I should have transported Corneria to Meteor or the one planet on the right. That looks like Fortuna. But no, instead I decide to just try and tackle something and... Stupidest mistake of my life in Star Fox 2. I'm, I'm a lot better than Star Fox 2 at this, especially with the... The, you know, the active time battle system, um, active, uh, or whatever it's called, um, basically every second you waste is the IB IBPM's getting closer, and right now I'm just, I'm not, I'm not up to game, I'm sorry. This is gonna be sad, <laughs> oh, but it's gonna be exciting because, uh, wow, wait till you see what happens, look, I'm letting the enemies just fly all over the place, oh god. I could have easily turned around and shot at the other enemies. So, in my review, this is one of the issues I talked about. When they fly around you and you're trying to look for them, you never know if they're above you or below you. Sure, you can search, but the pers you know the perspective is just not pleasing to the eyes. I kid you not. So we gotta take down this last fighter before he gets to Corneria and gets away. These fighters don't even care about us. They just want to run. So we're just gonna charge shot his butt. Oh, I missed. What? Oh no. Oh god. See, I'm wasting too much time already in the start. Eight seconds. That's... That's everything. Oh god. L look how close I'm already coming. Oh god, this is not good. I'm... I'm freaking out right now. Look at... The, look at this IBPM. It's multi-layered with... A whole bunch of... Ugh, it's just not good. It's It really isn't. Oh, God. 
So the only way to destroy this thing, as you see, is to destroy the outside part first. You can't even shoot at the middle until you until everything is destroyed. So you either get it first shot, or you or this happens. You waste a lot of time. Trust me, one second is a lot of time. Look look, look how far the IBPM travels. It was like probably I don't know. It. It just makes all the difference, especially in like, you know, how many IBPMs are launched from planets and everything. This might possibly be the most freaked out you've seen me so far in a Let's Play. I mean, I already recorded this before, but I'm still recapturing- Oh god, this is what I hate. This is what I'm talking about. When they're right above you, you cannot freaking see them or aim at them. This is one of the issues of Star Fox 2 that just bring down the- the fun factor a little bit because you're like get, get down here get down <sighs> but literally I am able to recapture my own reactions from when I was playing this and how much I was freaking out when I found out how expert expert could possibly be you see I'm more concerned about all the things flying towards Corneria rather than actually conquering the planets if you conquer the planets I mean whoops if you free the planets then you have a you have a chance, but if you don't do that from the start, it's just going to be harder. Because planets are what make the IBPM start flying at Corneria, so... Oh yeah, one thing I totally forgot to use is the boost. Um, You can actually boost forever, it seems like, in Star Fox 2. Okay, we've just infiltrated this place, and... Yeah, L look how much they give you from the start. It's like, whoa, I gotta dodge this, I gotta dodge that. Look at this. One mistake... One little mistake that sends you off course, and you go flying into the walls. That's another thing I hate. When you fly into the wall, like, the, the R-Wing is just not meant for turning. It really isn't at times. You have to go into walker mode to really, really get a handle of the situation. And this is another part I hate, too. Any rooms that are circular, like this, I mean, the square, but I'm just saying, you know, that, that circle around have enemies that usually, like this. They, they'll they'll go around in circles, and you have to chase their down. Oh god! You have to chase them down just to shoot them, thus wasting more time. And it's oh, it's tedious, but it makes the game fun, and it gets your heart like, oh my god, what the oh my god, I'm gonna run, run, run. Oh, it just makes you go crazy, you know? Okay, we found some potions. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. We found. Uh, some shield restoration, and uh, they race really start you off with four, uh, four. What are these? I don't even know what they're called. Four weak spots on the boss. Um, that took about 0.8 seconds, if I if I saw that correctly. So now now time really is important. This is where you are gonna start freaking out with everything you do. One mistake can mean everything. Look how close that IBPM is on the left. Do you see that? Yes, we're going to kill this IBPM. There's four. There's four IBPMs. There's either four fighters or there's four missiles. We'll find out. Oh, this is just great. I am complaining so much today, but please don't mind me for that. Because, see, I'll make up for it like that. If you can just get that perfect 100% aim, it's... Mmm. It's done. You must notice I'm pretty excited. Oh, this is how I get when I play really difficult games. We we're talking Street Fighter Alpha 3. Oh, arcade, arcade. Uh, I'm pretty good, you know, normal console system, but when it comes to the arcade, whew, everything's tougher on the arcades. But, you know, that's, that's how they make you pay. <laughs> that's how they make money. So, I'm a little lost at the minute. I'm trying to figure out what kind of switches I'm dealing with, uh, or how to deal with them, so... I'm gonna be really slow on this part. Okay, so here I am. I'm all like, uh, do, do I shoot at it? What, what do I do? Uh, do I do I run it? Oh, oh, that's what I do. So I was really confused. No joke. I was like, what is going on? They there are really awesome switches in this game. Some that make you just go crazy. You'll see that right now. And it'll show like kind of uh, a little problem with the controls. When you jump, it's not that smooth. Like you have to have, you have to be literally, yeah, 
It's it, it's exactly as it looks. You need to be right on. You have to jump into this thing. I you really do. I'm like I'm wondering if you're supposed to shoot it. I tried crashing it. No, you have to jump into it. It's dead on. Dead on. I don't think you could understand my pain because when you jump, you can't turn directions like you would in Mario. So you know they're just being real. But look at look how many tries that took. Five seconds in. Five seconds. I should have been done with this in three seconds. So we're gonna get in our R wing, and this is what you have to use to for speed. But you see, look, you can hardly turn. When you turn, it, the camera doesn't move with you. Just hardly. Like you, I almost ran into the wall. Thank goodness I was practiced in this. But my God. Oh yeah, notice that the music also changes when you go inside the base as well. So. <sighs> Wow, this must be annoying for you guys. Just me complaining. Oh, this is even worse. I'm going to complain again. I'm sorry, but this is really pushing it. I'm like, okay, I'm just going to try and chase this guy on the walker. And no, I just realized he went around the corner. So I'm like, okay, I got to catch up with him. But how hard is it to turn? Pretty tough because I can't tell if I'm actually, you know, straight. You know, because I end up going diagonal. Look, I was turning normally. And no, I turned normally the first time and that didn't happen. And it's all because of the camera, in a way. Ugh, I'm just so desperate at the minute. I'm trying to take this thing down in eight seconds in. Eight seconds. You see, you can only make it with a, with a nice tight turn, but it's really hard to tell what you're shooting at. So we're, sh we're really close to shoot uh, taking this guy down. As you can see, the little thing in the, you know, the, that little block is blocking off his life, unfortunately. Forgive me for that one more time. I promise that won't be there in the next episode because I've already, I've already recorded the next episode a while back. Anyway, instead of just flying towards it, we're going to have to run up to it with the walker. We just have to, because it's it's really annoying to fly indoors. I mean, yeah, you know, that makes total sense, but... I mean, I want to fly like you would here. It's all nice and smooth, but, you know, that was implemented in Star Fox 64. I don't know. I mean, it was a prototype, but we're going to end the Let's Play here. Sorry for complaining, but I underestimated this game. I really did.